so when we're looking at a building, um, just based on your um, discussion, so you might have ground and then you have an angled wall and then you'd have something like this and then your curtain wall would be kind of in there like that. So what I would do, uh, how do I erase all this? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Exit drawing, there we go. So usually I start off with uh, just the walls. So I'm just gonna draw a box here and we'll look at that box in 3D. And so we have our walls there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a curtain wall. And so depending on how this works, I'm gonna maybe show this two different ways. But we'll draw another wall as a curtain wall. And if you place a curtain wall inside a normal wall, the curtain wall will typically override that wall. Let's just see if it's doing that or not. And it's not, um, not a big deal. Let me just grab both those curtain walls. Let's change this to storefront and make this like 15 feet. Yeah, there we go. So you can see how the curtain wall overrides the wall. So that's good. That's kind of what we want, but we want to add a bit more customization to this. So um, let's, uh, let's click this wall. We're going to go to edit profile. And what I'm going to do is essentially draw out that sketch that you showed. So maybe we'll do eight feet and we'll put this on an angle like so. And then I'm just going to trim and extend these lines like so. And then the last thing I want to do is do the same thing with the curtain wall. So we're just going to click the curtain wall here, edit profile. I'm going to click the align button and I'm going to align with this angled piece here, this line, like so. And we'll click the check mark. And now we have that angled piece like that. Um, so let's do this on the other side. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter which order you do it in, but um, something like that. And you probably want both sides to be the same angle. I'm going to trim and extend. And then delete this other line here. And you can see when we do the curtain wall within a wall like that, it, it automatically adjusts that profile. But I like to do it uh, manually as well just to make sure it works well. Um, so let's just bring these lines in here, trim and extend these lines. And now we have that kind of profile there. Um, and another thing we could do, um, and I'm just going to show this um, as maybe a bit of a technique. So one thing you'll often see is it might be like set back in two feet. And this one will be set back in two feet. So it'll look like that. Um, what do we have going on here? I think we need to move this up a little bit. There we go. And that's going to remove that little notch there in the corner. So when you have a situation like this, I usually, um, I might start the way I just did. Um, but what I would do is in this portion right here, uh, we would add a slanted wall and then a ceiling. So we add a wall in here. Let's make this just a default wall, five inches. And you can see that wall looks like that. Um, so what we can do is we can click this wall, we can make it go up to 15 feet, um, but we can change this wall to be from a vertical wall to a slanted wall. Um, and then if I, let me just see if it allows me to use the align button and it does not. Okay, let's make this, um, let's make this angle at uh, 15. Let's make it negative 15. And it needs to be more, so let's make it negative 30. Something close. 
So that's pretty close. Um, so we need to move this wall back in a little bit. So I would just do that to kind of hide that edge. And then on the top, we would just do the top portion as a ceiling. So we can um, sketch this as, I'm just gonna grab these lines uh, in the interior here. Like this and we're just going to make a little ceiling in this spot in this kind of hole here and we just want to make that 15 feet above the first floor and so now we have a ceiling we have these kind of wall pieces and now we have that feature i i don't really need to do this other part part but i think you kind of get the point with how to do this but that's how you kind of create an inset wall the last thing I would just show you that you can do is if you grab these mullions and you unpin on one side, you can change these mullions to a five by five quad corner. And it just makes this look a little bit cleaner. So let's grab these ones. So let's unpin. So we make one side a quad corner and we make the other side nothing. I just deleted them. And now we, we have kind of a nice striking corner in the middle there. So that's kind of how I would kind of create this kind of effect that you'd often see in dealerships. Does that make sense? You're welcome.